And it shall come to pass in the last days, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, telling forth the divine counsels, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Yes, and on my men servants, and on my maid servants in those days, I will pour out of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire and smoking vapor. In February 2005, I had a prophetic encounter. At 11.22 in the evening, I was awakened by the blast of a trumpet. Two angels with silver trumpets were blowing in my face. I was like a dead man. I couldn't open my eyes. I was stricken with fear. The angel on my left was blowing a trumpet in my left ear. The angel on my right was blowing in my right ear. It was like a hot wind that went into my spirit, went down into my spirit man. Immediately I found myself being lifted off of the bed, lifted through the roof, lifted into the heavens, and came to rest in a place called the room of intercession. In the room of intercession, there was incredible worship, incredible intercession going on over the nations. And I heard this beautiful praise coming out of my mouth. Lord, you are so holy. You are so beautiful. You are so lovely. You are so awesome. You are the great God. This worship was coming out of my mouth. And as I listened to myself speaking, I noticed there was another voice. There were two voices. One was mine, and one was the voice of the Lord. Harmoniously, together, proclaiming the goodness of the Lord. That prophetic encounter served as an indicator into marked release of miracles and healings and increase in signs and wonders in the ministry. Acts chapter 2, verse 19 says, And I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath. Father, I pray now for a release. I pray now for a release of wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath. Father, I pray that you would begin to move and release miracles, healings, signs, and wonders in your people, in your body now. Release them now, Lord. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18 says, Lord, I and the people that you have given me have become a sign and a wonder in the earth. We are signs and wonders in the earth. So release us now. I pray for a fresh release of miracles, healings, signs, and wonders, and that you would cause your people to come into the place of understanding that we are heirs. And because we are heirs, we are sons of the kingdom of God. According to Galatians chapter 4, we are heirs of the kingdom, and all things belong to us. You are raising up a triumphant, overcoming body of believers that have the stamp, the DNA of God within their body. God, you are looking for sons and daughters who will grow up and take their places. They are not afraid to show forth the power of God. Lord, look upon your servants now. Observe their threats and grant to your servants full freedom to declare your message fearlessly while you stretch out your hand to cure and to perform signs and wonders through the authority and by the power of your holy child and servant, Jesus Christ. Do it, Lord, with great strength and ability and power, with great strength and ability and power.
power. The apostles delivered their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Do it, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out signs and wonders upon this generation, upon this overcoming remnant, this body of believers that you're raising up. Lord, put your stamp on us. Several months ago, I was preparing for a meeting. And as I was in the spirit, the Lord came to me and he took me by the hand and he led me to a storehouse in heaven. In that storehouse were all the mantles of those that have gone on before. As I looked, I saw Elijah and I saw the mantle and I saw what he wore and, and I saw Enoch and I saw some of the other mantles of some of the great men and women of God that have gone on before. And the Lord looked at me and he said, choose, I'll give it to you. And I said, Lord, you know. And immediately I had a mortal and a pestle in my hand. And the Lord handed me three pills and he put them in the bowl. And he said, grind them. And as I was grinding these three pills, the Lord said, these three pills are the past, the present, and the future. Signs, wonders, miracles, the release, the culmination of all things. Jesus, I want the culmination of all things. I want the mixture. The culmination of all things is at hand. In these last days, one great end time gathering coming. So Lord, give us power, ability, strength, miracles, healings, signs, wonders, culminating of anointings. To be able to bring in the end time gathering, this harvest that's coming in. Lord, do it. Lord, we need it. We need your strength. We need your power. We need revelation. We need transformation. Fresh understanding of who we are in you. Pull back the blinders that have kept us in places of not understanding. Create for yourself a people who have understanding of the times and the seasons that we're entering into.
Oh, Lord. How sweet are your words, oh, Lord, to my taste. Lord, they're sweeter than honey. Sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet are your words to me, Lord. Sweeter than honey. Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the whole person. You restore my whole person, Lord. You restore my whole person. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and bright, enlightening the eyes. O oh Lord, enlighten my eyes. Bring revelation. Honey is like revelation. Enlighten my eyes like Samson who stuck his hand in the line and pulled out honey and tasted it and it brought lightness to his eyes. Revelation. Lord, I need revelation. For the precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. And the commandments of the Lord are pure and bright, enlightening the eyes. And the reverent fear of the Lord is clean. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. They are to be more desired than gold. Yes, even much more than fine gold. They are sweeter also than the honey and the drippings from the honeycomb. Lord, your ordinances and your word are desired, and they are to be desired more than fine gold. Lord, I want you to be my fine gold. Fine gold. Lord, I want you to be my precious gold and my precious silver, according to Job 22. For the word says in Job that if you make the Lord your precious gold and your precious silver, even making the gold that you have, that which is precious to you, and you make the Lord your precious gold, you make the Lord your precious silver, then you will have delight in the Lord. And you will say there is a lifting up. Lord, there is a lifting up. And I can lift my eyes up to you. I can lift my eyes up to heaven. And your eye is upon me. And everything that I do, there's favor. Lord, lift your eyes upon me. Lord, turn your eyes toward me. I want your favor. I'm after you. I want the honey from your presence. It's sweeter. It's finer than much fine gold. And there's great reward in it. Lord, your precepts make glad my heart. Lord, I want your presence. I need your presence, Lord. It's your presence, Lord. It's the anointing. Oh, it's the anointing. It's your anointing that makes me whole. It's the anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage. <laughs> 